spins like a top. It has the shortest day of any planet, turning once on its axis in less than 10 hours. Glimmering through Jupiter's ring of dust, the Sun is but a beacon 485 million miles distant. So remote that it takes Jupiter nearly 12 years to orbit the Sun. Jupiter dwarfs our planet. It needs 11 Earths to span Jupiter's diameter. and over 1,300 to fill its volume. Where comets are concerned, Jupiter is like a vacuum cleaner. This comet, on a journey from the fringes of the solar system, swings a little too close. It's captured by Jupiter's gravity. Subject to forces hundreds of times greater than the pull of the moon on the ocean tides of Earth, the comet fragments. It's July 1994, and more than 20 pieces of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 plunge towards Jupiter. Jupiter is 90% hydrogen, the rest mainly helium. Haze tops the atmosphere. Then crystals of ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfide, water ice, and droplets of water and ammonia. Deeper, hydrogen and helium, liquid hydrogen, metallic hydrogen, and a rocky core. It's that liquid metallic hydrogen that generates Jupiter's magnetic field. This donut-shaped zone buzzes with electrified particles. But Jupiter's magnetosphere stretches much farther. After the Sun, it's the biggest entity in the solar system. And where the solar wind funnels toward the planet, auroral halos display around the poles as charged particles interact with the upper atmosphere. the 16 moons of Jupiter. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. It heaves with eruptions. Lava relays the surface over and over again. Plumes feed the sulfurous atmosphere. Ganymede. At minus 240 degrees, the icy crust is more than 50 miles thick. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, bigger even than the planet Mercury. Beneath the crust, a mantle of slush, then a layer of rock and ice surrounding a silicate core. Almost Ganymede's double is this moon, Callisto, except for the craters. They record eons of bombardment, the greatest impact site, a vast ringed basin. If there's extraterrestrial life in the solar system, it could be here, on Europa. Smooth and cracked like an eggshell, there's a theory that the whole moon is an ice-covered ocean, a possible medium for life. For the waters may be warm, heated by gravitational flexing caused by Ganymede and Io. But this ice may be many miles thick. To penetrate the ocean and search for organisms must await a landing. Nevertheless, the grooves and fissures that network the surface are cause for hope. They're reminiscent of frozen oceans on Earth and what life teems beneath their ice.
the big four of Jupiter's 16 moons, a mini solar system. Our world is just 93 million miles from the sun. Sweep out past Mars, last of the terrestrial planets, and cross the Great Divide to Jupiter. Saturn is beyond. This beautiful planet is nearly 10 times farther from the Sun than is Earth. Its solar orbit takes almost 30 years, its daily rotation 10 and a quarter hours. After Jupiter, Saturn is the largest planet, so buoyant that in an ocean big enough, Saturn would float. Yet it could swallow Earth nearly 750 times. Like Jupiter, Saturn is gas, 94% hydrogen, the rest mainly helium, and it has similar weather bands, but haze makes them hard to see. Saturn's atmosphere has five layers, with haze at the top, then crystals of ammonia ice, ammonium hydrosulfide, water ice, and water droplets. Deeper to hydrogen and helium, then liquid hydrogen, metallic hydrogen, and a rocky core. From afar, the rings of Saturn are like gossamer. Close up, there are billions of moonlets, from specks of dust to icy rocks the size of trucks. Some of the rings are kept neatly in orbit by little shepherd moons. Here's a pair marshalling the outermost ring. This moon, called Pan, orbits within the Enki division. But the rings are a puzzle. They may be the debris of pulverized space rocks, too close to the planet to clump together as moons. Within a few million years, the rings of Saturn may well disperse. Saturn's biggest moon, larger than the planet Mercury, is discovered by telescope in 1655 by the Dutch astronomer Huygens. The moon is Titan and it's a little like early Earth in deep freeze. The atmosphere is rich in nitrogen, just like Earth. Temperature is minus 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Is Titan a laboratory for life? Seventh planet from the Sun, and orbiting on a strangely tilted axis, Uranus inhabits the twilight zone. 